road road trip number two for this season and uh we're heading east and we're not telling you where we're not saying anything nope we're just going to start on driving mm -hmm. and hopefully the sun's going to be with us this is actually a blessing in disguise that we have sun with us because oh, it's been yeah. raining for how long now like the whole the, the whole, whole summer. summer so far well i mean we've had a few nice days mm -hmm. but not many yeah so let's hit the road and head east. Life is a winding road. We are on the road. where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. some gas at the hop here in Glen Allen. It is, what time is it now? One o'clock. One o'clock, so we're actually uh, making good time. Um, it's not raining right now. Temperature I think is about around 60. Anyway, we'll grab gas and we keep on going. Rolling. Rolling. Keep on rolling. We'll stay tuned as we approach the next stop here. See where we're going. bathroom break for us and the doggy mm -hmm. and we're just right next to the Tanana River so we're just a little bit outside Toke That's interesting. United States Steel Export Company, 1943. That's the uh, beginning or the end of the bridge going across. That's where it used to be right here. And the new one is over here on the concrete pillars. Cold. It is cold. July 1st and it's freezing cold. <laughs> yeah, let's get loaded up again. A little ways to go. Good girl. It's Pippin's little spot. This the border. Oh, it's it is border lodge, city lodge. Okay, I didn't even remember that one. Well, I thought we were at the border, but we still got a ways to go. Yeah, no. 
another sign how far it is to the border and now all of a sudden it was 27. It did say 20. It said 20 inches prior to that sign and then they explained that the signs are now because we're now in actual uh, Canadian not. territory and it switches to kilometers. Uh, And white horse, it said 489. We are struggling to get to the border because the road is really bad. We just had to wait 20 minutes at one of the road constructions. They're uh, grinding up the road, they're repaving, they're moving stuff around. So it's pretty rough, lots of potholes. We're at the border. We're at the border. The Canadian border. We got about 10 vehicles in front of us, so we'll take a little bit. And hopefully they're not too picky with anything. We did bring Pippin. And then once we're through here, I think we're gonna take a quick break, let the dog run around, get some water, and then we'll continue on. On and on. Made it through the border. Barely. Barely. <laughs> but we did, so. I think we're going to grab some uh, gasoline here at the next gas station and then we press on I guess for a little longer yep. and find a nice campsite and stay the night and hopefully the sun will also return here by tomorrow. There, there's a gas station right oh, over here. There's a gas station. Yep. And uh, yep, we, keep our, we keep on going on our road trip. Well, the roads are pretty bad. I'm gonna say between Tok and uh, the Canadian border. And now we're in Canada and the roads are also under construction. So a pretty rough ride. It's gonna take us a lot longer than we uh, anticipated, but we're just gonna take our time, make sure we're not gonna pop a tire. Well, I hope this is not the end of our adventure on our road trip. We got a problem here with our with our wheel and this pin broke which loosened this big old knot here and made that tire loose so I'm hoping I can get this uh, jacked up a little bit here and then hopefully I can tighten this this big knot and tighten it again and hopefully we have a we can secure it in place the end of our road trip. We are turning around. Anyway, I'm still a little bit uh, flustered. Flustered right now because we have to make it back. We don't want to break down in the middle of nowhere. In the middle of the night. In the middle of the night. It's midnight. We've been driving since 9:30. 9:30 this morning. So. We're gonna say a little prayer and uh, hope we make it back to your, the Alaska. ideal thing would be to tow if we make it that far. Yeah. Or at least to Alaska where we can hopefully manage to get a tow truck. Right. And if not tonight, we can maybe uh, find a nice place where we can hang out a little bit and see if we can find something we can do tomorrow to make it then back to Wasilla. So, uh, Stay with us, stay tuned. We're gonna show you an amazing sunset right now. So, <laughs> at least we got something good going here. Yep. And we got a good spirit and I got a very good wife. She's yep. very patient. And a very good husband. All right guys. Just be 
with me Just be with me Just be with me Now we're one with the sun over our heads And at night we'll be the stars We can go any place that we want to I don't care if that's too far Take my hand and let's fly away To another galaxy Only those I want to feel your love Together we are free Just be Yeah, we're getting pretty tired but Just at the same time we're enjoying the scenery That's where she's just around be with me Six, seven, eight miles away from the Alaskan border, so we're still in Canada. And we have no reception right now. And it's, what time is it? Like one o'clock in the morning? Two. Can eight, can eight in time, yeah. And we need a tow. Yep. Box not moving anymore. The, the nut is still on there, but. Shit. The uh, it's the drum which is connected to the dry line. So the dry fly is in good shape, but the drum inside has a like a teeth setup. And the dry line wants to spin the drum, but the drum is all stripped on the inside, so uh, it's only going on one side, but it's slipping. So we're pretty much stuck where we are right now until we get a toe. Not good. <laughs> bear country, we just came across a bunch of bear scat and we ran into a grizzly earlier. So. Maybe we should just sleep. Yeah. But by the time we get the mattress and everything set up, there's probably going to be somebody stopping by. and But. Then we can figure out another plan, but, but we have no reception and I were pretty much stuck until somebody's gonna... The worst case scenario happened. Yep. It's gonna be okay though. I mean, we're healthy. We're not... We didn't have an accident or anything, so that's one good thing, but... Yeah. As far as road trip goes... Yeah. Well, Not we might good. as well tell you, since we have a lot of time, we were planning on going to Skagway. Skagway. And it's both, it's been on both Ollie and my bucket list forever to drive down through Canada to Skagway. It was kind of funny because we got to the Canadian border and for, well, we declared that we had a weapon, but we didn't look up the rules and regulations in Canada and yeah you cannot have certain handguns hand and the one we had fell into this category so we had two options we could have which we should have turned around <laughs> but we gave up the weapon 
so we don't have to break up our road trip. So now we're between, well, we're on the Yukon between the Canadian and the U.S. border. That's right. Yeah, we're in, exactly in between. And we don't have a gun. We have three cans of bear spray. We have no reception. We have no reception. And we have no gun. So stay tuned to find out what happens. I guess where we are now. <laughs> Back at the border control on the uh, U.S. side. So, sometime this morning we were parked along the alongside the road. We we're in the bug, kind of half asleep, and uh, finally somebody pulled up with a big camper coming from uh, Canada, trying to get into the U.S. So we pulled them over real quick, and they were super nice and uh, gave us a lift here to the border control. And then we were able to make some phone calls at the border control to see how we can get the VW back to the United States and then finally sent back home via trailer or something. So long story short, uh, one of uh, Tasha's brothers is gonna come up to Toke. We'll meet us in Toke and then we come back here to the border control and pick up the VW. Oh, the security guards here have been amazingly nice. They're gonna help us tow the bug back here. We still haven't slept. Nope. <laughs> other than me, like my, my one eye is sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> no, they've been, they've been super good to us. Um, so we're gonna wait here a few more minutes and the uh, one officer is gonna get off uh, from work at eight o'clock. And then he's going to help us pull the VW back to this location right here. We're going to park it. Then he's going to give us a ride into Toke, where we're going to spend the uh, day until my brother pretty much there. the day. Uh, so we, we're going to know Toke pretty well by the end of the day today. And then we're going to, once the brother is going to be here, we're going to drive back here again to the border control, load up the VW. And then we're going to head back to Wasilla. Head back to Wasilla. Then we're going to fix the bug in the morning and straight back to the border control. <laughs> Just kidding. Maybe another time. <laughs> we'll keep you posted. We'll stall, slowly eat into this drum, you know, and it happened probably already. Uh -huh. Wait. 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 See, my job is to keep that chain Nice and straight. We are being pulled. Yep. Do you need me to help push again? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Couple more feet. Oh my goodness. Always an adventure. Further is it to the border? That much? That far? Yeah. Can I come off, is it? I hope not. It shouldn't, but. Well, we're going green. Huh? Yeah. We're saving gas. <gasps> Bumps. That's all. Pushing the VW through custom. Ah, uh, what a day. Whoa. Whoa, Wally! Yeah, yeah, we're good, we're good. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. Oh. I could take a nap. Could you? Yeah. What about you, Pippin?
we're back in business. The VW is loaded up. And we are heading back to Wasilla. It's gonna be another long day. It's already 6 p.m. and we got a long ways to go. Plus we got a couple road constructions ahead of us, but at least we're bag in shape. In life, we often find ourselves on unexpected journeys. We make plans, set goals, and strive to reach new horizons. Sometimes the road takes an unexpected turn and our dreams seem to slip away. Ollie and I embarked on a road trip to Canada, our hearts filled with excitement and anticipation. Fate had a different plan. Yet in our moment of disappointment, a remarkable thing happened. Strangers became friends, friends rallied together, and family became heroes. People from all walks of life went out of their way to lend a helping hand. The funny thing is, it wasn't just about reaching our destination. It ended up being about the journey itself and the amazing people who helped us along our way. We are back home and the VW got fixed pretty quick. We had all the parts necessary to do the repair work and we are driving it again. We just decided we could uh, do a test drive up to Hedges Pass, do a little hike and hang out in the bug a little bit. Pippin's happy, she's back in the BW. It went a little sour, it was kind of rough, but at the end everything worked out. We got picked up, the BW is back, we got fixed, we were safe, and uh, we still had a blast doing it, although we didn't make it to Skagway. But there will be another time. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope you liked the video and please like and subscribe and we'll see you on our next adventure. Take care. Bye.